Today we are on page 31, which is the letter Z, 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 zebra. And guess what? This is the last letter of the lowercase cursive alphabet. Yay! Okay, so I didn't have confetti, and so I just threw rocks. And now that I did it, I see that it probably wasn't my best idea ever. Hold on a second. All right, so now that that mess is cleaned up, you guys, I am so proud of you. This is our last lowercase alphabet letter. You have worked so hard. Yay, awesome, awesome work. So we got one last weird one to go. Z looks pretty crazy. It doesn't look anything like the print Z. Um, so go ahead and put that pencil, pencil spot and watch me do the Z so you know how to do it. So obviously this is a roller coaster letter. So we will start with a roller coaster. So a Z is going to go from the bottom roller coaster up. And when you go down, whee, it hits that bottom part right there. And then it kind of like, it's like a bump. Like, whoa, it almost bumps off the track. So it's gonna kind of bump up and around and then it curves around to connect. So it's kind of hard to see there, but let's look at this one. because This one's easier to see. So you do your roller coaster up, and then when it goes down, it kind of goes bump in the road and then curves around to connect. I always think it looks kind of like the number three. If we take off the extra stuff. And I am also not against a bigger bump. Let me show you what I mean. Roller coaster, and then when you hit that, do a bigger bump and then connect around. I like it with a bigger bump. So it looks more like a three. Now you are going to be doing your, um, when you go roller coaster, hit your bump, you're going to be curving around just like this, this direction, same way you did with the Y. So the Y went down up this way, Z is gonna go down this way, same thing, all right? So Z is a little bit tricky. Last letter though, you got this. Go ahead and pick up your pencil and let's do it together. All right, so start at the bottom. Roller coaster up, wee, and then we had a little bump, bump around, go down and curve it back around like you did your Y with the connecting part. Okay, another one, start at the bottom, roller coaster up to the middle, wee, hit a bump, bump, and then all the way down to the basement, curve around the same way you did a Y. Do it again, start at the bottom, roller coaster up, wee, hit your little bump, bump, Go down to the basement and curve around the same way as a Y. Do it again. Roller coaster up. Wee! Bump. Basement. Curve like a Y. All right, let's do one here so we can practice it on our own. Roller coaster up. Wee! Hit a bump. Bump. Go down to the basement and curve around the same way you did a Y. Last one together. Roller coaster up. Wee! Bump basement connect all right so as you do the rest of yours remember i am okay with a bigger bump than what it shows there if you want to make it a little bit more obvious and dramatic that's fine but let's go ahead and spell these words together z i p zip so it's like zip up your coat z a p zap like I zapped um, a fly in my bug zapper. Z, E, doop, B, doop, R, A. What word? Zebra, like the picture we have at the top of the page. Now this does not start with the Z, but it has a Z in it. S, I, Z, E. Size. What size are your shoes? Last one, F I Z Z L E. Now this one is a fun one. Remember, trace it first, then write it. But this one's fun because it's got the double Z's. Watch this, I Z Z L E. Look how cool that word looks. Fizzle, if you're fizzled out, that means you are done. So once you are done, you may be fizzled out on this cursive page because you have finished all of your lowercase letters. Congratulations. Now you'll have several pages of practice writing um, different types of cursive words. And I will have a video on that one. 
that you're welcome to do, or you can skip it and go right to cursive uppercase letters. That is up to your teacher. So go ahead and get busy. Yay!